What's good guys, if you want the cheapest and most reliable FIFA 23 coins, make sure you guys check out u7buy.com, save 5% of foot coins, buying with the code DAN, next time you guys want to buy some coins and make your team even better, also if you ever want to sell your FIFA 23 coins, you can go again on the website and sell to them as well in this section right here. Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys, and today we're going to go ahead and review 98 rated. 98 rated, really, yeah. 98 rated team of the year, Lionel Messi. 5-7 high, low, left foot. 4-star skill moves, 4-star weak foot. 93 pace, 98 shooting, 97 passing, 99 dribbling, 77 physicality. Messi has both the finesse shot trait and the outside the foot shot trait. Now, the camp style I'm going to go ahead and give Messi is the hot chemistry style. The reason for that is that you want to boost up the pace. Acceleration gets maxed out. Sprint speed goes up to 94. And the main thing is add a little bit of physicality. Messi's only 5'7". He tends to get bodied off the ball pretty easily in FIFA. We don't want that happening today. So strength goes up to 86. Aggression goes up to 61. And the shot power gets maxed out on the card. You don't need to touch the passing. You don't need to touch the dribbling. That stuff is already maxed out. So he's going to be playing with this team right here. And Messi is going to be playing on a 4-1-2-1-2 right next to Benzema as a right striker. So we want to see the vibes with this Messi. I was a huge fan and still am a huge fan of that flashback Messi SPC they dropped earlier this year. We want to see if there's a major difference with the shooting, the dribbling category, his attack positioning as well. And also, I am still very confused on why 98 Team of the Year Messi got a higher rating than the current Ballon d'Or winner, Benzema. But that's up for another discussion. We're going to play some Foot Champs games right now, and hopefully this Messi is very, very cracked out. All right, here we go with game number one, FC Legends. Let's see what type of team you rock with, my guy. Good backline, good midfield, solid attack as well. So, going to be a good test, obviously, except for that gold Conte. Unlucky. Here we go, Messi. Lays it off to Killian. Oh my goodness, this guy got bailed. Oh my goodness, that would have been nice. One thing I love about this Messi right off the bat is that the L1 dribbling is absolutely fire. L1 or LB of your own Xbox. Look at that. Still got the ball. Look at that left stick dribbling as well. Lays it off to Messi for the tap in. That was a good link up. And it's going to be a rage quit, I believe. So we move on that. The pass. Messi makes it 3 to 1. Good shit. Go Messi. Still keeps on to the ball. Nice physicality as well. Turns. Trying to give him the goal right there. Let's go, Messi. Let's go, man. Good goal right there. Good goal right there from Messi. Let's go Messi, use that speed boost. Que golazo for Messi, que golazo. And we got a penalty in the 35th minute. We're gonna go ahead and shoot with Messi himself. We're gonna go uh, top right. Hopefully we don't choke. Come on Messi, let's go. Messi with the, with the nutmeg. With the finish shot, what a finish. Good ball. It's a great assist from Messi. Is Benzema on? He is on. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, Messi. Just in that tight little space, man, with that little heel to heel animation. That was fire. Weak foot? That's tough, that's tough. 
Wigfoot. You gotta score that one. Let's go. All right, yeah, boys. So team of the year, Lionel Messi. 98 rated, somehow higher rated than Benzema, but we move on that. We're looking at a card that had seven games played, 10 goals, three assists. A great, great return for somebody that played as a right striker. So he's coming around 4 million on the Xbox and the PlayStation. 5.6 on the PC. Comparing the team of the year to the 94 team of the tournament, he has plus 7 pace, plus 5 shooting, plus 3 passing, plus 2 dribbling, and plus 7 physicality, which is huge, huge from that upgrade. Now, this 98 Messi, phenomenal card when it comes to everything with the dribbling. The dribbling is the best thing about Messi. With all the Messi's, you're not really getting a significant difference from the dribbling aspect from this Messi and let's say for example the flashback Messi or the team of the tournament felt very similar with the dribbling aspect one thing I do like a lot from this team of their Messi from the team of the tournament or the flashback is the physicality from the card specifically the stamina and the strength that plus seven does make a huge difference um, I'm not saying he's like in Bappe type level with the physicality but you do notice the difference he doesn't get bodied as often he still gets bodied doesn't get bodied as often. Another thing I love about this card is the pace. The pace, you feel, you get that nostalgia feeling from the past FIFAs of the team of the year, Messi's, man. That's probably one thing that Messi was missing this year was that burst of speed. The flashback has it, I believe the flashback has 90 plus pace. And that's one thing that the other Messi cards were kind of missing was that burst of speed that as soon as he gets that step over animation, he's just absolutely gone. You get that with this team of the year. Um, finishing from the card, amazing. A tight positioning, amazing. Weak foot, he did miss one or two chances. He did score one or two chances. I'm going to put it in the mixed category. It's the same thing with Messi every year with the four-star weak foot. It's either hit or miss. Not a negative, though. He will score majority of chances with the weak foot. I will say that right off the bat. But when it comes to, when it comes to this Messi, you can play him anywhere on the pitch. And the attack down the wing, striker, cam. I think the best position to play this card is either as a cam or as a lamb slash ram. He will definitely do a lot of damage down there. Um, and honestly, guys, there's not really much to say. Uh, probably the con, there's two cons with this card, I will probably say. He doesn't have five-star skill moves and his 53 aggression. Other than that, you're getting one of the best cards in the game. Makes sense why he's four mil. He'll probably drop to maybe 3.5 by the end of this weekend or maybe next week. We'll have to see the vibes. But he does get a thumbs up from me for being beyond usable. And rating wise for team of the year, Messi is going to be a 9.0 out of 10. He's one of the best wingers in the game. Personally, for me, I would prefer Jarzinho over this team of the year, Messi. That's just me, though. That's just me. But other than that, he's definitely a top five winger in the game no debate whatsoever so go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about team of the year messi you guys enjoyed this card this year or not because i know a lot of people love messi this year based off this year's fifa so um the next player we probably will be dropping will be either a vintage from the team of the year icons team or someone along those lines maybe a david beckham i'll try to see the vibes thank you guys so much for support i'll see you guys either tonight tomorrow sunday for the midfielders and yeah it's been your boy dan fifa and i'm out bye bye